Hello everybody and welcome back to Mr. Miller's Art Room. Today we have a very special project in mind and that is creating basic shape monsters. Basic shape monsters, Mr. Miller? What pray tell are those? Basic shape monsters are monsters we create from our imagination using basic geometric shapes. And if you don't mind me asking, what is an imagination? That's not a bad question, Mr. Monocle. An imagination is when we use our minds and our ability to think to create imaginary worlds or ideas. Our imaginations are actually where very many stories come from. Stories like the Madeline series, or even Roald Dahl's James and the Giant Peach or the BFG. Our imaginations are so powerful it allows us to see things that aren't even there. For instance, Mr. Monocle. Yes? I'd like you to try to close your eyes and imagine- Wait a second, Mr. Miller. Yeah? I can't close my eyes. Well, just then, just use your imagination. Use your mind to think of the shape of a square. And what if that square had two big round eyes. Yes, go on, I can see it. And what if that square had big, meaty arms? Mmm, well, that's interesting. And what if it had tiny little legs? Yes, well, I'm starting to see it. And what if that big, meaty square with the big arms and tiny little legs had green skin and a snout nose. Yes, it's looking terrifying in my mind. Well, let's see what we can come up with. Let's use your imagination to pour that idea out onto the paper. Okay, Mr. Miller, I'm ready. All right, just smack your head right onto that paper and... Well, Mr. Miller, that's just the very thing I had in mind. Yeah, exactly, Mr. Monocle. You used your imagination from what I described to create a monster from basic shapes. What will we need in order to create these pieces of artwork? You are going to need a geometric shapes paper just in case you need some reminders of different kinds of shapes you can use, though these aren't the only shapes there are. A bin of crayons because we're going to be using the crayons to draw the lines for our monsters. You'll also need a watercolor pack to paint our monsters with a paintbrush and a cup of water. I'm gonna show you three different types of shapes monsters, though obviously because there are so many shapes in the world and imaginations are so big, there could be any number of monsters. We are gonna be using a uh, nine inch by uh, 12 inch piece of paper. So I don't want to see any tiny, tiny little monsters and tiny little drawings in the corner of the page. We're going to use big shapes and the whole page. Now, Mr. Monocle, would you like to get me started with your imagination? Maybe describe to me what uh, monster I might draw. Don't mind if I do, Mr. Miller. Well, I say let's start with a large downward pointing triangle. Very well. We'll start with a large downward pointing triangle like that. Well, very good, Mr. Miller. Next, let's give him beady little eyes, wide set apart. Okay. Beady little eyes, and they're kind of wide. Wide set apart. Let's do a little bit more here. Very good, Mr. Miller. Now, Let's give him a gribbly mouth. <laughs> what is a gribbly mouth, Mr. Uh, Monocle? A gribbly mouth that sort of looks wobbly. Uh, let's see, kind of like this. Like that, that looks a little bit wobbly. Yes! Very good, okay, now what's next? Well, let's give him, we did uh, larger beefy arms before. Let's give him some wiggly spaghetti-like arms. Okay, let's see. Um, like this, and maybe come down here. 
Yes, 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 but we want them to be shapes, not lines. <laughs> You're right, Mr. Monocle. So in order to make these arms into shapes, instead of just drawing lines, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line that drives right next to it, kind of like two lanes of a uh, street. And so I follow these right along here, and at the very end, we need to close this off with some hands. For the hands, I don't make them overly complicated, kind of like a cartoon that I really enjoy, which is Adventure Time. Uh, all I'm going to do is do one, two, three little bumps, one, two, three little bumps, and there's his hands. Now, Mr. Monocle, what are we going to do for the, uh, for the legs? Well, I think that we should match the arms a little bit, but maybe give them a little more stability. Okay, um, match the arms, but a little bit more stable. So why don't we do this and this, and in order to make them match the arms, we'll make them kind of skinny as well, because we don't want them to be lines like Mr. Monocle said. We want them to be shapes. And then for the feet... Well, we did small feet before. Let's do big monster feet with pointy nails. Okay, let's try that. Uh, big monster feet. Like this. With pointy nails. Let's see, maybe I can use some triangles. Some small triangles, just like this. Yes, Mr. Miller, that's perfect. Now for the color. What color do you think I should use? Well, let's use uh, red for the body, black for the inside of the mouth, perhaps orange, green, blue, and purple for the legs and arms. Well, that's a lot of colors, Mr. Monocle. I believe in you, Mr. Miller. Okay, let's give it a whirl. Now, before I paint, I just want to reiterate some painting recommendations. When you get your brush for the first time, let's make sure that it's clean by washing it out first. You want plenty of water on your brush because with our watercolors, you need to spin the brush around on the watercolor long enough for the color to melt onto the brush. This is how we get a really very nice, rich, saturated red. Then once we have that red on our brush, we're going to go ahead and paint. We can use the tip of our brush to get some of these edges over here like this. But as you can see, as the paint starts to dry out, we probably need to either do a quick dip of water. A quick dip is just one quick dip. And then do a spin on our paint palette right here to get the paint reactivated and working. I'm going to go ahead and paint this picture right here but i wanted to also let you know that one of the reasons that we used crayon is because crayon is made of wax and we're using watercolor and wax and water does not mix so if you do this if you draw with the crayon you'll still be able to see the lines even if you paint over top of the crayon marks mr monocle asked for a black mouth an orange green blue and purple legs and arms. This next one I want to do. I'd like to start with a tall rectangle. Then I'd like to have uh, some slightly smaller legs. And I think I want to have some rectangle feet. This time I'm going to do oval eyes right here and here. And I want my monster to be a happy monster. So I gave him this kind of happy bean-like mouth. And in my imagination, he's going to have short little tiny arms like a T-Rex. And now to give him some color, and voila. The third one I'm going to show you, I'm going to start with a circle. I made sure to draw it nice and big. Now what I'm going to do is I'm thinking maybe this monster is going to have a beak. Here I used two triangles to make a beak. Maybe this monster is going to have bird-like legs. And maybe this monster is going to have angry-looking eyes. Maybe it's kind of like a bird, a flightless bird with little tiny wings. But that's not quite enough. I feel like this needs, like, maybe he's got little feathers poking out the top of his head. And now all it needs is some color. And boom, we've got our monster colored. I would love to see what kinds of monsters you can use with your imagination to create 
utilizing just basic shapes, crayons, and a little bit of watercolor. Have a great day.